What's up, guys? In the process of taking this uh, this stem off the Dultron City, I got this new uh, clasp, this new uh, clamp. It's supposed to be night and day. Everybody's telling me it's ten times better. But um, when you first put down the stem, you got to take this little cotter pin off. See that little cotter pin? So it has little notches. I used a flathead screwdriver and a hammer. I just, you know, nudged the, nudged the screwdriver to get the little cotter pin off. And now you got to pull this off. Once you pull this off, you can slip the kick clamp on. All right. I'll show you guys when it's um when I get this off. Hold on one sec. Okay, guys. It actually literally took me to not even like two minutes. It was easier than I thought. I didn't think I could do this when I first got it because I didn't know what was involved. But um, that's a new stem there. It's on. It's, it feels a lot, lot more solid. That's the new stem. I wonder if these things are tight. Yeah, I guess they're tight. I picked up from New York. I mean, I, I, I stood on top of it and, and wiggled the stem. There's no wiggle room at all. But um, here's the seat. I got the seat kit. That's going on next. See that? I guess that's the actuator. You gotta put that on. I got the clamp. Clamp is in here. Not, not the clamp, the seat, the seat bracket. What the hell is it? There it is. That's it, guys. That's it right there. That has to go there. There's four um there's four plugs. Little little rubber plugs that you pull out. But yeah, like, I'm digging that stem. As long as it fixes a problem, I'm happy. Because the last one wasn't great. The stock one. I just took the stock one off. This thing's a pain in the ass. And it looks like it's made good, right? But not really, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why they would, wouldn't fix it from the factory. Like, before they even put these things out. Why not make sure everything is perfect? You know... They did give me a break. I just gave it to me for half price. But think about it. I just spent all this money on this expensive scooter, and I had to buy another clamp. That makes no sense, you know. But I don't know. They should have, they should have had a recall and gave it to customers for free instead of charging them for it. Like I said, they only charged me half price, but it's still the point. You buy an expensive Dualtron City, and you got to buy a stem. All right, anyway... You got to take that. I got to do this next. See these little rubber things here? Yeah, I just, told, I just pulled one out. You see these? I'm going to pull them all out. I'm going to put them there for now. It's okay, buddy. I'm happy you got the garage door closed. He'd be barking. It's all right, pal. All right, this goes on next. Where am I going to put the clamp? Can I, can people put the clamp in the front or the back? I don't think it's good in the back because you can't really, well, I guess you can get to it, I guess. I don't know. Are people putting that in the front or the back? I guess I could put it in the front. All right, I'll show you guys when I have it installed. I mean, it's not gonna take much. It's four bolts, I gotta bolt down. This goes up like this. Let me show you. This goes up like this, the actuator goes in here. And then the seat goes on, that's it. And this bar sticking out of the seat is for adjusting up and down, just like a computer chair. See that? That little, that little rod. That's for adjusting it up and down. But, uh, what are you doing, pal? I'm selling that trike over there, guys. I, I knew I'd love it, but my shoulder's so, so sore today. I'm surprised I'm even doing this. Absolutely killing me today. But um, my shoulder's always been bad. But I found out after riding this trike so many times, I realized that's what's causing it. The handlebars are so wide and for a normal person, that's fine. But I got, I got a bad shoulder injury now for 10 years. So that bike's not helping it. It's actually, every time I ride it, it's aggravating it every time I get off. So I decided to sell it. And it has to be for the right person because it's expensive. I'm selling for 5,000. It cost me over six with the, you know, the batteries and that LED whip I put on there, that custom whip. But um, I'd probably go as low as 45, but no lower than that. I don't want to take too much of a beating or I'll just keep it. I don't give a shit. All right, anyway, back to this.
Yeah, this thing is definitely impressive with the lights. Really sharp. But, uh, all right, let me fix this seat and I'll show you guys when it's done later. Seats on, clamps on, very easy, guys. All right. Okay, guys, I got it. The seat's on, the stem's on. Right, Jax? We got it, pal? Yeah, the seat's actually pretty cool. But it's, it's If I keep the scooter, I'm going to change the seat itself. Um, on Amazon, there's something called Giddy Up. It's a lot wider seat. I think it'll do a lot better than that little seat. Um, I'm sure you guys seen it before. It's just a wider seat. It keeps you in place better. I haven't even took it for a ride yet. But the stem's on. Got the stem on. Nice stem. Oh, just shut off again on me. No big deal. I just want to show you guys the lights again. I can't get over these lights still. But um, I got to see. My shoulder's been acting up. That's the reason I'm selling that thing. That's the reason I'm selling this. I, I, I got to go for a shoulder operation. It's fucking killing me, man. But anyway, there's the seat. It's on. I just got to tighten it. I just got to tighten this part. It keeps moving up and down. But uh, that's it. It was very easy to do. Right, Jax? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.